Good morning, friends. Uh, this is Rohit Damangan, your host for uh, the presentation on pre-screen of top stock research. All right, friends, let's begin the session. Uh, what is pre-screen and why it is re uh, required, right? The screeners, so there are a lot of things which users over, over a period of time keep on looking and searching for certain set of information. For example, if they are looking at a bullish engulfing candlestick pattern, right? So. Uh, what we try to do is basically from all the spectrum of the uh, application product, we try to create some of the pre-screen which majority of the users or especially the beginners, they would like to directly go there, get the results without navigating at too many places. So th these are pre-crafted based on the popularity and their importance and as well as their value. All right. So uh, about pre-screen, what is a screener? Uh, needless to tell you because majority of you are already subscribed to it. So we do understand you, uh, you have an idea about the screener, but just uh, let me tell you in a brief that screener will help you to identify or to filter stocks of your importance uh, in minimal time so that you don't have to go to each and every stock, find, find the information and then go to next stock if it meets or not. So screener will help you to find those stocks based on the criteria that you are interested in. Uh, what are the advantages of screeners? The advantage of screeners is basically it helps you to save a lot of time. Uh, you can you can create your strategy or your uh, favorite filter, and then you don't have to worry about going into each and every stock switch. Why pre-screened? We have mentioned that, and the categorization of uh, uh, pre-screened in top stock research. So first categorization is financial screeners. Those are based on most recent quarters, financial year, trailing 12 months, uh, annual growth, continuous growth, and quite a few things which we'll be covering in a short while. The next is technical screener. In this one, we, we go with the uh, technical indicators, uh, patterns. For example, it could be an ultimate oscillator or it could be a pattern like uh, head and shoulder. So we'll, we'll be covering that in a short while. Next one is TSR strength index. So uh, those who have attended the previous session, we did cover a technical strength. Uh, so basically for each and every stock, we mark stock based on multiple different parameters like stability, valuation, uh, trend strength, and so on and so forth. We'll be covering that. So that's the next screener. Uh, then stock rank. So for example, if you're looking at which is the most bullish stock in the universe. So basically, it, it, the screener will tell you that this is the most bullish or this is the most stable stock, so on and so forth. Right? And then uh, based on the screener, you can quickly compare the position vis-a-vis other stocks of that universe, that universe can be same sector, universe can be mid cap or small cap, and so on and so forth. All right. So uh, pre-screened on top stock research. So uh, basically, there are two views in top stock research. One is public view. Uh, that, that is free for all. You don't require any login. We, this, this feature or this facility is there for last 12 years. A uh, lot of users have benefited out of it. You can continue to do so. Uh, then the second view we have is premium view. There are certain advantages in the premium view over public view. Some of them, some of the important ones I'm highlighting over here. Number one is basically there are no advertisements. Uh, it's much better UI and UX. Uh, you can export the data to CSV or an XLS. Uh, you can add alerts on it. You can do auto refresh. And there are quite other features which we'll be covering in a short while. So from purely from the uh, perspective of this particular session, we'll be covering features of premium view because uh, all of you have subscribed to one of the uh, better packages uh, uh, as a part of our 12 year celebration. So no point of showing you the uh, public view uh, for this session, right? Okay, so what are the typical features of the screeners? First is basically it is tick-based screening. What tick-based screening is, uh, basically you can, uh, filter stocks uh, on a 15 minute scandal or 15 minutes tick or a 30 minutes or a monthly tick. So there are quite a few ticks available right from five minutes all the way to one month in the screeners and in charts you have even quarterly uh, screening. And the second is stock basket. What stock basket is, uh, you can you can go with the, some of the standard stock basket like I want to filter only on FNO or I want to filter only on a micro cap or I want to filter only on stocks of my watch list. Right? So that's the stock basket. So some of them are standard like FNO or a small cap, mid cap, or some of them can be custom stock basket like your watch list or your portfolio or things like that. And the next one, which we have is backtesting. For majority of the technical part or technical screener indicators, we have backtesting. That means 
you can go back in the history and see that uh, what patterns was made was made and then depending on your confidence that the, once the pattern is made then how the stock moves in the future uh, you can always uh, create or basically fine tune your strategies next one is customization so what you can do is apart from screening the results uh, you can have custom column sets that means uh, for example if you are looking at high beta stocks along with high beta stocks you are looking at stocks which have good momentum uh, which has a, a good pe or market cap so what you want to see as the results in the result set you can customize that then also we have two views simple and tsr view we'll cover that uh, in subsequent session but just to give you simple view is much faster to render on your application let's say you are getting 500 records uh, then 500 records uh, is a little slow to render when you have a very sophisticated or very high end ui simple view will be faster tsr view will give you more capabilities but it will come at a cost of certain price right and if the price is purely on based on your uh, basically local hardware if the hardware is good you don't have to worry if the hardware is small, uh, is little older uh, then obviously uh, uh, it will be slower next in line is basically once you screen the results uh, you would want some future reference if you want it for future reference there are few ways where you can save or store these things. Number one is you can export the data as CSV XLS, or you can uh, you you can save these information as or portfolio, or you can add. As, so once you do all those uh, customization, you can add as uh, uh, alerts or uh, add to favorite. Right. Right. And so so on on the alerts part, you can add alert on a screener. For example, if you have a screener wherein uh, you want you are looking for stocks which are in oversold zone for more than five days, uh, and uh, if you want screener on that, you can have screener on that. Or if you find a stock uh, based on your research, you you can add alert on a specific stock of that index. All right. So the broad categories of the screener number one is price and volume based, most common, most powerful, most used. Uh, TSR stock strength index. Technical screeners, pattern screeners, fundamental screeners, future and option screeners, and index sector analysis and heat map. Right. So these are the broad categories that we have. 